And welcome to a bunch of KOPF puff figures based on the Marvel comics. Uh, and on the left there we have comic book version of Jessica Jones and then we have Experiment Wolverine and then their version of Old Man Logan and then we have comic book version of Mystique or oh, animated series version of her. We have a big fig carnage here uh, with articulated head and some big claw thing going on and we have their version of Duck Pool or Duck Deadpool or whatever. Um, these figures all have stands. He, uh, the 4x4 play stand, he has a 4x6 or studded plate that's pretty cool. She has a weird little light tape handle thing with a gem on the end. Got the claws here for Wolverine um, and more claws for Wolverine. And we have another light tape with a stud on the end for Mystique. And uh, these claw things are literally just held on to. It's like a little mini build thing you could do for Carnage there. And Duckpool doesn't get a stand, but he's got some big black flippers. He's got the two katanas and the holder, and these two guns. The left one here looks like the uh, that's this big gun there. That kind of looks like a grenade launcher that I've seen with the uh, bootleg Boba Fett and Django Fett figures, as well as a giant sniper rifle, which is clearly copied from something from Brick Arms or something. But I think these choices of weapons are a little bit too big for uh, mini figures. Look at Carnage first. He has the main body of um, I think it's Abomination or something. Because uh, he's got all these like muscle textures going on. This whole spider thing is also bumped up. It's a nice, really nice texture. Uh, the black is pretty good and the print details on him are okay as well. My only downside is that the red plastic that they've used looks extra plasticky. The weapon piece that he has here with the claws. That's just you know buildable robot arms and some claw pieces. And some hinges on the end. And uh, he's literally holding it to, again, a lightsaber hill. Just like... The a few other superhero characters, what's up with that? They're all using lightsaber hilts to hold onto items. And he does have articulated head, so that's pretty cool, so you can move his head around. And uh, this claw piece, under certain angles on the camera, it does look like it's part of his hand, so I think that they've done a pretty good job there. Okay, the rest of the figures all come with spare minifigure hands across the minifigure plates that you saw them standing on. And there they are. None of them have any back head prints. Duckpool here doesn't even have a back body print, I guess they thought they could just get, rid of, get away with it by just having some katana blades in the backpack. Uh, Weapon X Wolverine here is not very good. I mean, yeah, he's kind of recognizable when you have everything together, but the head underneath is just a very generic head. It's not even a Logan-ish, a Wolverine-ish head. They could have copied some one of those heads and it would have been better. So all you have to go with is you've got a military guy and some speedo legs. <laughs> so, no. Um... And if you're wondering, yeah, oh, he's got some back texture prints, I guess. So it's good for making custom figures, maybe some military figures, but uh, not a good Wolverine figure. Old Man Logan here is decent enough. He's got that blue jacket going on that he picked up later, if I remember correctly. Um, if you look at the WM brand Logan, Old Man Logan, he's got the black suit going on from when he's driving a taxi. So I guess you need both. And the head print on the WM brand is much more detailed and much nicer. Um, just looks more like Old Man Logan than this one does. And also the hair seems to fit and match much better with the uh, rest of the face. So yeah, uh, the WM brand one is definitely better. Mystique here is pretty cool, pretty awesome. Wish she had a secondary phase where it's more of like an angry or attacking expression. But otherwise she's printed really well, looks very accurate. Um, it's just a good figure. And there's the back of her. And like I said, Duckpool has no back print, but um, yeah, pretty good mold. They just copied the you know Donald Duck head, which is what it should be, and done that. Uh, downside is these katanas, they're very loose. Look, just falls in. So if you flip this figure upside down, these swords will just fall out, and it's just annoying. Uh, finally, Jessica Jones here. Got the pretty accurate, but a very simplified design from uh, what it is in the comics. Uh, but it gets, again, it gets the job done just enough to look like the character's costume. And the back is very generic. The arm printing isn't very good either. Uh, she's supposed to have her shoulders expo exposed from like, and then the blue is meant to be the gloves or something. But it would have been much better if her entire arms were just flesh colored and they gave you blue hands instead. Right now we have some weird patch printing on the shoulders and it just looks kind of awkward. Both Logans from KOPF are pretty bad or uninteresting, they're just not that good, so they're easy skips. 
I'm not sure if the actual, I think the actual double does have back printing, so maybe try and pick up another bootleg. Uh, I'll take a look at some other duck pool sets later with other sets to see which one's the best version. As of right now, this one is pretty good. The Big Fig Carnage is decent if you like big figs. I'm not a fan of them, so I'm not too bothered about him. But the highlights here are really the Mystique and maybe Jessica Jones if you want the comic book version. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below. And guys, take care and have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now.